Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 24 of our Crusader Kings 2 Horse Lord series. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode we've uh, wrapped up our war with Abbasids, which they declared and uh, generously gave me like thousand uh, gold for losing this war, which is really uh, welcome. I spent it nicely on upgrading all, all my capital, so and now we're just uh, continuing our expansion. This time into the Scandinavia. We declared a war on Denmark, and it should probably be finished pretty soon. I've called in my vassals, so hopefully they're gonna be sieging that. I already sieged one province, and the rest maybe they could do for us, like at least uh, for preventing us from suffering attrition. That would be useful. Mm, Pagan homelands, yeah, yeah. And now you're all just piling on my stack. Of course you do. My nephew want to be charitable. Mm, why not? Okay, I guess if you don't want to do anything on your own, I'm gonna do it myself. And if you're gonna have so much troops in here, I might as well just assault. Uh, some more improved relations. Okay. Because if I'm gonna assault, I'm probably gonna suffer less casualties than if I were to just sit in here. Also. I hope the supply limit gonna update after our occupation because this one actually now have 22 k supply limit and this one for some reason still still makes me suffer attrition even though it's already controlled by us. That's strange. My concubine is pregnant. Great. Mm. Okay, so you, it's probably enough improving relations with this guy. Yeah. Now Uzer for some reason hates me. Okay, let's get a new one. Uh, been improved with. Also, our marshal should not be leading the troops. He just should be training warriors in our capital. Uh, we got a new pack of troops. Build it up because we got tons of money. And we should be using it uh, for something, actually. Oh, Kazari have a massive revolt in here. Mm, oh, it actually have 5,000 troops. It's quite a lot. Teot Kabar, 2,500. Okay. Maybe we're just, just gonna be avoiding them. Why take them when we could attack just Denmark? And it's gonna be a lot easier. So, there's our enforced demands. Thanks for tons of lands for my horses. It's probably gonna be hard uh, to create pastures in the Finland region, but who knows. Uh, also, we inherited a couple of stupid fossils, which I don't want to have. Uh, let's go and pillage whatever we may in there. 10 gold, 25 gold. Okay. Uh, so, this guy is our vassal. We have high chiefdom of Finland. Achieve them off this place. Let's just revoke it. He's not gonna be able to do anything against that. Mm, come on. Decide quicker already. And this sink as well. It's mine now. Now we're gonna pillage it again. And who else should be revoked? So Omi, this, this, and one more. You are a vassal as well, okay? Give me the title. And get the pillage done. Now, this guy could have the Dutch title, Dutch of Finland. Including lower titles, is it gonna work out? No, I still controlled all by my own. Okay, guess I'm just gonna give it away manually. This one. This one. Uh, Suomi. Uh, why it's not showing when I click on it? I have no idea. And one more. 
city of Gauss Gun. What is that? Let me see. Probably somewhere around here, yeah. Okay, I'm just waiting for uh, for it to be pillaged. So, now you have free holdings. Good for you. Uh, so, now we're gonna have truce with Denmark. We already have a truce with Kola. So, we could not declare any more wars in here. Actually, we could declare the war in here, I guess. Yeah. Because we have... Uh, the same sea zone, but actually we could not declare a conquest war. Not, uh, I don't want to declare subjugation or something else for one province. That's gonna be stupid. Uh, actually, Swiftjot, you could give me these islands. I'm pretty sure. Mm, so, conquest of a land, invasions, subordination of Swiftjot. One, two, three, four provinces. But actually, in here, we could also get another one tribe. Actually, we still only have nine of them. Uh, and yeah, this one tribe I want to just expand, like, in here, I guess. Not across, or uh, not across the sea. It would look pretty terrible. Also, like, Ilmen. Is our truce already finished? Yes, it is finished. Uh, so, Koza or Kozaid, do we want to have more holdings? We probably do. And I want. Or I can make it happen. So, you're gonna receive Ilmen. Uh, Ilmen. Then we're probably gonna take Chute and. Give it to this one guy, probably. At least one of the holdings. We'll see. But first of all, Ilmen. I'll just start moving into here. 11th of June, also we need some more leaders in here. Let's get an organizer in the middle. Uh, trickster. Actually, this guy. Direct leader, lead in the center. Or this guy, I mean me. Uh, organizer or direct leader, that doesn't matter as much. Uh, okay. Now, give me the lens. Right, and assault, we also finished our construction in the capital, so we need to queue another one. If you have actually enough money, mm -hmm. we have some. So, give the lands, and go pillage. Okay, 50 gold, finally, get me 50 gold, and 25 in here. And you're gonna receive it. Uh, Lucky. Oh, that's now gonna look a lot better. So, next guy probably gonna be shoot. Also, construction. Finished construction in here. Let's get something else. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've already been built in wrestling, not? Can't be? I don't know. Uh, some more military points. Yeah, why not? We could probably use them at some point. So, the rise of the Shia. Like, fifth time already. And still no Shias around here. Yeah. It sounds fair. Oh, Miley managed to expand all the way to here. Or expand all the way to here. But now that they are boarding the Umayyads, they are probably just gonna get tricked. Because Umayyads are overpowered. Actually, they only have currently 7,000 troops. But in this age, I don't think Mali have more. Yeah, Mali have like none at all. Um, okay, Kabar, what are you doing? You are defending against this guy's conquest of Ishim. Oh, this war already been going for some time. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so. Uh, what's your name? Kozaid. Now have eight provinces. What about the Idequit? Uh, they have nine. Okay, so Kozaid, I think I could give you one more. Like this province of Chute. Actually, it's gonna be better looking. It's gonna be controlled by this guy. 
behind the river. Mm, but giving too much lands to him also not gonna be the best of idea. Also, we already technically have 12, so I think we could get rid of Urumki and give it to Musht, because they seem like uh, the most weak one, so we could have Urumki. Now we have 11, and when we're gonna burn down like Samarkand. Uh, why can't I bo burn down Samarkand actually? Oh, because this thing is not this thing has not been controlled by me directly yet. Uh, they probably should be, so let's go and start revoking all the stuff. Give me all the cities. So I'm gonna be able to burn some all to the ground. Also, look at this. When I'm gonna revoke this mosque, I think it's gonna just evolve into a freaking barony. So, let's go and look at this again. Yes, now it's barony. I don't know why is it happening, but mosque now becomes barony for no real reason. Oh well, uh, not even temple, not even anything else, just a barony. And the last one. Mm, thanks for that. Now we should be able to start pillaging Samarkand. Only 10 gold for now, but oh uh, yeah, it's gonna get better this time. We have a niece who is 16. Okay. Not gonna do anything about that. So, we're done with this. 11. Anyone else need expansion? Yughur have quite not that much holdings as the others. Oh, actually, if you're this guy, you managed to expand it on your own pretty well. I guess you could do it in the future as well. The problem would be probably with the Uzur, because they currently locked. I couldn't really give them more, much more lands. Actually, I could give them Kroron lands. Uzur, you have eight. But yeah, you already uh, got two of these provinces. But this guy is your vassal, so... Mm, he's not giving you the holdings. They're not considered as nomadic, unfortunately. So, okay, what about this guy? The Kuluk clan. Kuluk have eight. Okay. And yeah, we only available to have nine still. Um, I guess I could give you one more holding. Why not? So, you are adequate, right? Right. You're gonna have 10, and I'm gonna have 11, and everyone probably gonna be happy. So, I'm just gonna take this guy for shoot, and we're gonna give it to the adequate clan. Mm -hmm. Oh, some people want to be released. How about your money status? You have no money. Screw you then. Um, so, conquest of conquest of shoot sounds great. Oh, you have no army in here. That's unfortunate, because I would probably get tons of war score for destroying your army. So let's go and try to capture it if possible. Could you please stop asking me for re uh, releasing you? Because it's not not gonna happen. Because you're a freaking like peasant leader. Considering your sign. Uh, why do we have prisoners <laughs> from the Polish revolt? I have no idea. That's interesting. And we just lost like thousand and something troops due to this glorious attrition. And this guy keep running away. And I couldn't do much about that. Except like maybe Hanituk or has the title from Ishim. Uh, oh, so you finished your war for Ishim. Okay, good job. Uh, the only thing I put, could probably do to capture this guy is place my organizer in here. 17th, 29th, yeah, now you're dead. 
Oh, and you just spawned 1600 troops from nowhere. Yeah, settle my horses. Need a new marshal. Let's get a new one, and you're gonna train people. And we need a new commander as well. It's gonna be you. 1600 troops. <laughs> and we only left with 1600 troops. Because attrition. Uh, also, the question is where the hell you got them from? Susdal brought you 1000. Okay. Mm I don't want to fight you in direct combat. Oh! Conversion successfully finished. That's surprising. Where are you actually? You're just nowhere. Okay. Go try to... Uh, I actually should not be proselytizing. I should be researching cultural tech. Okay. I'm gonna try to set you to this later if I'm not gonna forget. And you have an available ambition. Because our wife died. Okay. Let's get married, I guess. Uh, the only available ones is courtiers, of course. Yeah, let's get her. Sounds fine, she's 16, she's very eminence. Everything is great. And there's our ambition. We're actually 67. Not bad for a... for a nomad. Uh, you're now moving to Veliki Ustuk. I should probably capture you in here. Now that my troops are mostly replenished. Oh, of course there's a penetration in sieged provinces. Why wouldn't we? That makes so much sense. Now I'm probably gonna suffer attrition while I'm gonna be arriving and I'm gonna lose the battle. Hmm, never mind. Good investment. Lose 20 prestige or become arbitrary. Screw prestige. We have tons. Okay, give me this lens already. It's already been a too costly war for such a crappy province. Uh, 50 gold, yes please. 50 gold, yes please. And 25, yes please. And now it's going to you. Uh, shoot, where are you? Here. Go away. You guys need to replenish a little bit. Our son is a guardian. I guess we could teach you myself for now. Also, all of our sons are dead. Poor health, maimed cripple, period of illness. Yeah, looks like being, uh, being a mercenary is not really a healthy thing to do. But at least we have our heir still, so... And uh, we're, we're fine, right? And also, the thing that we are 68 not helping as well, because <laughs> our sons probably managed to die from old age sooner than we would. So, okay, we got shoot. You are now having 10 provinces. Mujda still, ha still have only 2. Even with Urumki that I gave them. You are so stupid. Why can't you just pillage all this, all this stuff? Why? Why do you have to be such a dorp? And no. Uh, actually, now that we have this 6,000 army in here, why not we go and finish off this uh, Croran and Cotton guys? Oh, Buddhist uprising. Great, let's go and... We have 100 troops in here, really? I'm just... Stupid. Yeah, I'm just gonna call in my vassals, because I don't want to deal with it. So, the expansion. Uh, did we got any available number of clans? Mm, still not. Okay. So, who's gonna be the feeding then? Blue is one of the smallest ones, but unfortunately we have truces with everyone around this region. Here for two more years. Uh, in the Denmark. Actually, Denmark. Looks like your... Yeah. Your king changed. Time for a war. You're gonna lose some more lands. And you're gonna probably like it. Or maybe not. 
Uh, we could use our pie chief on shot. Why would I do this? Doesn't seem right. I don't need the freaking touches, I'm a nomad. Who cares about them, right? Uh, some more points. And a raven mob. For the Buddhist. 200 troops. That's so funny. Why are you so weak? Awesome. We need to re recreate our uh, friendship with someone. Who is the most powerful? Kozaids. You have 20,000 troops or population. This guy has 25. The maximum is pretty close. Kozaid. Do you want to be my friend? Uh, blood off. Yes. You're gonna be our blood off. Or our friend. I don't know how how you could call it. Nice. And we also need to improve relations with Uzur again. Or are we improving relations with him right now? We are. Okay, great. And actually, it is already time for me to have a break, guys. So I'm gonna do this and we're gonna continue in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I'll answer it as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.